Up next in the little truck, we are gonna get rid of these old sealed beams. I got the some new LEDs with uh, church signals in them. I'm gonna do this in little stages. I'm just gonna take them all out right now, and then later on I'll put them right back in. Got to get them done tonight though because I gotta go to work. Still too big.
while they're all out. You can see this one's quite hazed over. It's about a good time to do this anyways, because, uh, yeah. It was coming out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, they're in. Honestly, they look cool, but a little funky. They don't really match the body style. So, uh, the only thing is, is it's just going to be headlights for now. I got to actually go look up how to put on wire in the uh, turn signals. Um, I don't know if it's just as easy as you hook it up to the turn signals or what, because it's actually a sequencer style. So, and there's two wires, there's a yellow and a red coming out of it. So, the instructions don't tell me what is supposed to go where. So, they do have a website. I'm going to go on there and see what I can find. But, uh, yeah, those look pretty nice. And there's the dims. Looks pretty nice. See how they are once we uh, turn on the brights. There we got some more light. Oh yeah. I think this will be nice. It's kind of weird. There's uh, three lenses right here. These two outer ones aren't lighting up. I wonder if that has something to do with the extra wires, the daytime running lights maybe. But, because yeah, these things are daytime running lights and turn signals, so. Yeah, that would be pretty uh, interesting. And then the little tiny LED I put in there. Not really the brightest thing in the world, is it? Well, but yeah, there she is. More to come once I get everything else wired up.